What's going on everyone? It's Nathan from Nathan's MRE and today we have a very special ration. This particular one is a Canadian IMP. This is supper mini number four meatloaf with onion sauce. And this is from the old style menus. This is a 2008 and has a disclaimer on the front. It says it is possible to have entree substituted by another one. That's interesting. Uh, military ration not for resale. And that's pretty much all it says. So let's go ahead and get it opened up here. See what's inside. So we can pull off what we did in the last uh, Canadian meal. And actually get it open without destroying it. Alright, so we just kind of got the edge of it open. This thing should still be good. 2008 is almost 10 years old now. So let's just try to get her open here as nicely as possible. And we'll throw this up on our display. Look at Mike. Be trying to rip. There we go. Hey, look at that. We did it. Let's go ahead and pull the contents out. Take a smell first. I don't know. It smells kind of, kind of old. It's quite a lot of stuff in there. Nice foil lined pouch. Set that off to the side. So starting off here, we have some looks like possibly recycled napkins or TP for your, you know. Have the standard issue Canadian IMP spoon really long to get down in the pouches. We have some oatmeal cookies, 40 grams, or biscuits, oatmeal biscuits, dad's brand. We have some strawberry jam, another pack of strawberry jam. We have instant mashed potatoes. A little pouch of them. We have a cup of soup. Uh, contains MSG. It's not good. Tomatoes AVEC with croutons. Maybe tomato soup. Sounds very interesting. We have a sachet of orange pico tea. We have a package of ketchup. We have Watermelon sports drink. We have a beverage bag. We have a moist towelette. A pack of white matches. A pack of sugar. Another pack of sugar. We have uh, coffee colorant, which means whitener, coffee creamer. We have a candy. Uh, Werther's Original. We have two standard issue U.S. military MRE gum. Something got a spot on that box. Uh, we have tea. Colorant, so whitener. Another thing, a whitener. Instant coffee. We have, I'm guessing that's pepper. Yep. Salt and pepper. Ooh. We have some Ritz crackers from uh, almost 10 years ago, nine years ago. We have cherries with syrup. Hopefully that's not what's leaking, I doubt it. It's probably those crackers or something like that, making an oily stain on there. We have a little brochure, have you, have you will. Um, it's like a checklist whether you liked it or not, pretty much. And we have a toothpick. And we have our main, which is meatloaf with onion sauce. All right, let's get it opened up and see what we got. All right, so first up, I forgot these Canadian meals. You got a little slice in on the top of the box. 
because they glued them together very, very well. All right. This is actually Warnick Company mains. There's like a big chunk of meatloaf in there. And let's see if this has expiration date on it, actually, because these still should be way good. Um, I don't see any... No expiration date that I could pick out of it. Hmm. Usually these are good far past uh, what they say. We're about to find out. Cherries and syrup. Rip that bad boy open. Another Warnick Mill, Cincinnati, Ohio. We'll get those off to the side and I'll go ahead and get those in the heater. We're gonna finish doing the rest of the stuff here in just one second. Okay, so we have some water heating up. Our mains are heating up. All that stuff's almost finished. We have our tea and our coffee up here. We'll do that here in a second with the cups. Let's go ahead and get the Ritz crackers opened up. Now this is the only thing that may not be good. I don't know if these are gonna last over nine years or not. Look at those guys. Pull that light a little closer to us. Let's take a smell. I don't know, they smell weird. Cheese smells weird. Hmm. No. They're not terrible. They're definitely getting pretty foul though. Kind of getting old mothball taste, I guess that cheese. And probably there's a lot of butter and stuff in those uh, crackers. It's starting to go. Uh, Faith, everything else is gonna be good. These two things here will be the only thing that's questionable. This is only in a real thin bag also, these cookies. The dad's cookies. Look at those guys. That smells like paint. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like you go to Lowe's, open a can of paint, and smell it. And a lot of times we'll see that when these packages actually bleed through after so many years into the food. I see that quite a bit. So let me see what else we got here. We have some drinks to do. Um, let me grab some water. We're going to go and mix up our watermelon drink. And everything else is just condiments at this point. We'll put Okay, so let's do a watermelon drink. Got a glass right here. This should be good with no problem. It looks good. Small a little bit old, but overall really not bad. Separating just a tiny bit. Should have a good another 10 years onto it. It starts causing problems. Look at these drinks, all the fine dust. The last uh, IMP was like that too. Let's go ahead and fill this guy up. We didn't look at so much water to mix it with, but. Um, 250 mil. So this glass is about 200 mil, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and stir this guy up, set him off to the side. And we're gonna do our hot drinks next. It smells really good. Uh, let me see here. Let's go ahead and do our instant coffee. Type one. And since it is coffee, take a look, but it looks fine. It smells fine. We have a cup, a uh, measuring cup full of really hot water. It's teetering on the edge, it's so full. Do that. Give that a little mix. It's a nice nutty scent to it. And next up our foreignmre.com mug. We're gonna do our orange pico tea in here. There we 
we go. Water is not boiling. A lot of guys don't like that, but it's close. It's very, very hot. Put that over here to the back side. All right, moving right along, we are getting the meatloaf out. It's going to rip it along the top. Bunch of gravy. Ooh. It's like a McRib. It's definitely, uh, definitely full of onions. I might be a little biased on this one. I really don't like onions too much, but we're gonna do our best to uh, properly diagnose this thing and see how it tastes. Grab this other one. Have our tea kettle. Wipe all the moisture off of it. All right. And this one was our cherries with syrup. Squish some of those things down. I use a knife on this one. If you don't cut these, they tend to splatter all over the place. <clears throat> and for making videos with, that usually doesn't work out too good. Cherries and syrup. Cherries and syrup look good. And they smell good. Might be more than what this little compartment's gonna hold, but maybe not. Whoa. Wow, that's all of except for one cherry. And that compartment is totally full. Being said, we're still waiting on the soup and the potatoes to get done. Let's go ahead and uh, take a little taste of this meatloaf while we're waiting here. I mean, it was very dense. I knock off a couple chunks of onions. It doesn't smell bad. It smells really good. It smells like a, almost like a beef stew, to be honest with you. Nice gravy on it. Let's see if it tastes the way it smells. Really good, it's not dry. I thought it'd be dry in the middle. But really it's not. Very nice, bold, almost like a mushroom flavor along with it. Nice beefy flavor, it really is very good. All right, let's get these potatoes started before we go any further here. So we have some instructions here, these instant potatoes, add hot water to the dotted line. Mix well, salt, one packet of tea or coffee, whitener can be added. It's kind of odd. Okay, I'm not sure we're gonna get this to stand up by itself because it's just in like in a pouch. So let's see, let's cut it as far to the top as we possibly can. That didn't work out too good. And then we just have basically a white powder. It's like some pepper in there. We're gonna open up our coffee whitener. Kind of weird that you put this in there, but hey, it is what it is. I'm guessing a whole pack, it just didn't say. We have a tiny, tiny, tiny package of salt. If I could open this up without spilling it. There we go. And then we're gonna add our hot water. I have my little white bowl here. I think we're just gonna set it in that. To put the water in it. And do it like that. This water is almost too hot to do this with. All right. Putting that over that, we're gonna mix it up. Uh, Getting this bowl so you can actually see what it is.
There we go. Pretty much all of it out of there. And it did make a nice little amount of mashed potatoes. Mix those up just a little bit. We'll let them sit just another minute or so because, you know. We have our soup. Our soup is gonna take three quarters cup of water, which is exactly what we have left. Let me shift this a little bit this way. And we are going to mix this up on the side. Put something on our table here so we don't uh, melt it. Our tomato soup, I'm guessing that's what this is. Looks like tomato soup, it's kind of chunky. It smells like tomato soup, let's go and dump her out in there. Tomato soup with croutons. All right, and we're gonna take a taste of our potatoes here, I believe. Potatoes turn out pretty good actually. Nice flavor to them with that coffee creamer and that salt in there. Our tomato soup, let's go give that a little stir here. Okay. All right, so let's take a drink of our watermelon drink. Very nice, not overly sweetened or anything. It's a very mellow drink. A very good taste, no funny aftertaste, especially for being that old. And where I tried our gravy, let's try a little bit of meatloaf here. And maybe a little bit of our gravy to go along with it. Potatoes are very nice. Very good. Very hearty meal with the meatloaf and potatoes together. Very impressed with that. I'm gonna take a drink of your coffee. Clean our palate. Just, well, let's do tea. We're still on the first part of the meal here. The orange pico is steeping very nicely. Very mild, not bitter at all. You could even put whitener in it too if you wanted to. I don't really prefer uh, tea with whitener in it myself. Never did really have that too much. That's not really a, a thing we do too much here in the States, I don't believe. Okay, so let's go on. I'm gonna do this soup here, but I don't know if the soup is quite ready. It might be. Looks pretty good. Oh yeah, the, the smell has definitely come back in it. After you hit some water to it. The tomato part of it looks almost like broth and tomato. But let's take a taste and see. It tastes like tomato. It's a little bit sweet. A little bit of basil in there. The croutons. Nice and crunchy. Smacking the lens with that. That is very nice. The crunchiness of the croutons really helps that out a lot. Really fixes that a lot. Move on to our cherries. Our cherries look good. Take a smell of them here. Very nice and tender, a little bit tart. They're definitely still good. The age did not have any effect on these at all. That's very, very nice. We had these two sachets of strawberry jam. 
ordinarily you probably don't put them on your cookies. Those cookies, um, yeah, about as pilling as eating mothballs. Definitely uh, gone a little rancid. So we're just gonna take our spoon. Squeeze some of this jam out in our spoon, try not to squeeze it all over our meatloaf. Big chunk of strawberry came out. Probably looks black in the camera, but it's really not. It's more of a light brown color. I can smell it smells fine. Let's go and take a taste. Definitely still good. Very, very, very sweet. But no foul taste, no offensive taste whatsoever on that. Yeah, not bad. All right, so we're almost finished here. Let's go and do our coffee. Our coffee is right here. Nice and black. Let's take a drink and see. Almost like a, a Folgers. It is kind of... A little bit on the potent side, a little bit on the bitter side, but that's just black. There's no whitener, there's no sugar, nothing like that in it. And I think very last, we're going to do this candy, the Werther's Original, and see how a 10-year-old or 9.5-year-old Werther's Original held up. Could be older. This could have been old when they put it in the, in the meal. It smells fine. Let's take a bite and see. Yeah, still tastes fine. It's like it was made yesterday. No problems at all. So guys, that's pretty much it for the 2008 Mini Number no. 4 Meatloaf. Overall, a very good meal. I'm sure this is very popular back in its day. I don't know for sure if they offer this anymore, but I'll definitely have to check out a newer one if they do. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. You all have a good day. We'll see you later. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars.